back, ladies and gentlemen, to a second map in the finals here in Kohima between Game Hike and Flash Gaming. My name is Daredevil, and uh, Lancer here will be right back in a second. Um, until then, this is still the knife run here. Game, Hi Game Hike has actually won the first map. And what do you think, Moro? What do you think about I... the second map here? This is Game Hike's uh, choice of map, and they're just coming off one hell of a win on Inferno. Flashback Gaming are the ones who are gonna have to deal with pressure here. They are trailing in this best of three. They lost on their own map. Kind of what I mentioned earlier about uh, the game mentality of why people would pick the T side. But one of the things is more important is that Game Hike has actually picked the T side in the previous overpass uh, game that they played, which is what was in the semifinals. And they performed really well on their T side. And keep in mind, this is their map choice as well. So really important for them uh, to actually win on their map choice. But Flash Gaming, now already on a bit of their backpedaling here, is that they have lost the first map, which was on their own map choice. So this is going to be a bit tough for them, as for some reason we're watching a bit of a third person view here. But looks like they are going to push towards mid, maybe, with this teeth on. Really important pits around here, Moro. It is. There's a lot of pressure on Flashback to win this. As the bomb makes its way towards long, it seems like. Not really anything going. Finally, Steve gets McGill's monster. Oh, there's someone hiding oh, straight to the left here. Pyro, is he going to check? Yes, he is. And he sees the shoulder, but oh my god, he, oh, his teammate. he saves his teammate there, but it's not enough. Aslan does get the kill onto Divine in the end anyways. 3v4 now for game high. Kai makes it a 3v3. Ritz can plant the bomb in peace, but there is a CT coming from Toilets. I believe that would be Steven, but he does get spotted. They know exactly where he is now. Question is, can they kill him in time? FK2 finds a headshot on the guy. That's a good start. Steven also gets Ritz there, which means one man left. That's Aslan. That's an easy pickup for FK2. And Flashback Gaming, they win the pistol round they were hoping for. Yeah, really important pistol round for them now, especially now that they're on their CT side. Flash Gaming... On the better side, but also, they did just come off from a loss. And a very heartbreaking loss for them as well, on their own map pick. And on a four overtimes even, they must be a bit exhausted from that. So they, they did need this pistol round, but Game Ike... They look like they're going a bit on a half buy. So I've offered how um, Aslan kind of buys armor here. But maybe they'll make this work, but what's more important though is that they buy next round. So, see what they can get done here. It's tech 9 armor for Aslan's expensive buy. And Kai just got destroyed by the MP9 there. Steve comes out on top, or Steven, I should say. I apologize. There's a lot of people Steve. in Connector. They might just surprise the team. That's a good boost coming out there from Aslan. And I believe that was McGill's. Never give up. Just got the kill on the fire before the door closed. Aslan got one, but it's not enough. Never give up getting two. Steven gets the third and the fourth as well. Ritz drops. Flashback Gaming. Lead now. 2-0. But Game Hike are buying. But now they get to buy, so this is a completely different round here. And... This is as important as that first p pistol round. If if they can get this uh, this rifle round, flashback game will have basically uh, the perfect lead on the on their first half on their CT side. Game hike though wants to revert the kind of that momentum they had in that first uh, in the the first few rounds. And if they can do that, they're gonna completely break flashback game here. And they do have the weapon advantage as well. Yeah, not really impressive weaponry in Flashback Gaming side. Moss MP9 and a P90. Two M4s though, and four kits to work with. 
so they're not that upset. Meanwhile, on the other side, game hike utility is looking very, very sad. Look at that divine hiding behind the wall. Oh, McGill's. He was crouch peeking, and divine easily picked up that kill, but it does get traded back by Ritz. They get that kill onto divine, but they lost the member. Not where game, not what game hike we're hoping for as they make their way back and long Kai gets never give up, but the S King trades it back as well. We're down to a 3v3 now. FK2. That's good movement to dodge that flash, but he couldn't quite land the spray there. On the player short. Leave that would be Pyro. <laughs> Steven got that kill at last. Oh the S King, he can not get anything! What? The MP9! Not enough damage, but Steven and FK both are pretty low. They've got nothing but flashes Ooh. to help them out here. There's someone a truck. Oh, that flash. Aslan tried to dodge it, but he, now he got fully flashed. He can't see anything. Ritz maybe can get something done here. He does get a kill onto Steven. It's just FK2 left Ritz down to 3 HP. Not much time left. 15 seconds. Can Ritz make it to B side on time? FK2 thinks he won't make it, and that's why he's staying here on A, but he might just be wrong because Fitz uh, Ritz. Right over here. Ready on B, he's gonna plant the bomb successfully even with 3 HP. Can he clutch this? Can he grant the round for game hike? Or will flashback shut him down? Here we go, the 1v1. Ritz hiding on the side really close to the bomb. I believe he is right behind the pillar. Or he's on the right side actually. It's FK2. Oh no, never mind. Ritz is on the other side of the wall. <laughs> this advantage not having X-ray. Yeah, the minimap kind of uh, messed with me there as he taps the bomb once more. He's got a kit. His Ritz finally peeking. Oh. He gets it. Pros never fake, my friend. And FK should not have faked it. Game I'd hype like went to around. I'd like one thing is that um, Ritz has done more, I think, in this half so far than pretty much he's done the first map. So this is very, very important now. Ritz has already seems to be doing much better. He's, he gets three kills and, and actually clutches the run for his team. That's, that's a very big difference in how we saw him in the first map. And that's what they need here, Game Mike. Oh, seems like a monster push. It's a good smoke, but it's not quite enough. Aslan does get the kill with a P90. He wants more. But nothing going. The S King finds that kill with the op. FK2 got Pyro as well, but it does get traded back by McGill's. Down to a 3v3 now. Ritz is the one with the bomb. He's got a lot of smokes as well to work with. He makes his way onto the side to plant the bomb. The S King hoping to get lucky through the smoke, but no such luck. Kai actually got a kill onto the vine. Mid rotation. Ritz! The nade kill onto the S King. That's the op dropping as well. Never give up. Last man standing. It's an easy pickup for McGill's, really. And game hike tie things up two to two. Yeah, it it started off a bit awkward there because they were rushing down that monster with uh, basically omps and p90s, and they ran into DS King who was up in heaven with an op. They only had one smoke to actually try to smoke him out, and it was kind of it was kind of funny because they they could not p90 at that range. That's so that one of the reasons why you need an AK. You know, like. When you're going up against people longer range, you need that one tap potential. And look at the stack though, they're all going towards short flashback gaming. They're gonna kind of switch Ooh. positions here. This is odd. Game I can their way onto this side. There's the AK for Ritz. Gets it gets that kill. Gets another one onto FK2 as well. The Zeus attempt by DS King got shut down by Pyro. It was a good a good attempt. But no luck. Now only two people left for flashback gaming, both of them stuck in connector. That's a nade that just destroyed connector door. Now game I can chase those skills if they want to. Never give, never give up. Actually got the kill onto Pyro with some help from Pyro's teammate. Yeah, Ritz doesn't just want kills on his on the enemy team, but his own team as well. Here's McGill's now. He knows exactly where never give up is. Finds the headshot and the kill. Question is. I wonder if Ritz got an assist off of that. I think it counts as an assist, right? No, it shouldn't, I don't think. I've never paid attention to whether you get an assist kill on your own teammate, but uh, I believe don't believe so. He's got three assists, so something tells me it does. <laughs> Five kills, three assists.
Yeah, it's not something I pay attention to as often. But, um, yeah, but Flash, here's the funny thing, is that rather than picking ops on people like Kai, uh, considering they have 7.6k on McGrills and 6k on Kai, they'd much rather go with P90s. And what's weirder is that they're not picking utility. I mean, you have so much money, get utility. Okay, Kai decides to buy a little bit more utility, but the person 7.6 McGill's here does not get any more utility. He's just sticking to one flashbang. I don't get that. I mean, why Why do you not seem to care about utility? It's very important. Ooh, Aslan, he's fully flashed. And Steven gets that kill, but Pyro does trade it back. Here's FK2. Landing a headshot onto Kai as well. Pyro is about to find someone there. That would be FK2. Finds another one onto Pyro. He needs to alive. It is a 2v3 now for Game Hike. Both Ritz and McGill's still up, still at full HP. McGill's, surprisingly enough, has his Zeus again. There's the flash, and FK2 completely eats it. McGill's picks up that kill with the FAMAS. He's hoping to get DS King as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry, I believe that's Divine. But no such luck. McGill's down to 3 HP. That's a good nade from Ritz. Trying to do some oh, damage, but it's not enough. Ritz. Divine finds a headshot onto Ritz. McGill's last man standing with only 3 HP. And a FAMAS in a dream. A yeah, FAMAS in a dream. But I don't think it would be enough. McGill's actually fired a, a premature shot there. I uh, got a bit too excited. <laughs> was that headshot was on Ritz, who had the full HP as well. Yeah. Oh, gonna... He's going for it. He picked up the AK. Then takes a molly while he is pushing monster. What was that, McGills? Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> kind of gave away his position by throwing that molly. And yeah. It's the most random molly you can throw. I mean... Why? <laughs> at least try to use that to your... <coughs> Sorry. Advantage. You can maybe move towards monster, use it towards barrels or something. <coughs> Sorry, or on the right side of monster at least when you're pushing in, because that was where he was hiding. When instead, ops not to just starts to throw it instead. Well, in a way, it makes sure that his opponents doesn't pick up the Molotov. Sure, that's uh, six hundred <laughs> gold. Uh, six hundred dollars. Sorry. Gold, yeah. Yeah. You're thinking uh, League of Legends, aren't you? I'm thinking MOBAs <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> but yeah, Kai does have an op this time. Aslan's the one who has to sacrifice, really, a Tech 9 for him. But everyone else on Game Hike has got AKs to work with. Steven, surprisingly enough, with an MP9. Or MP7, I, I apologize. And Game Hike now making their way towards toilets, it seems like. At least the bomb is. So is Aslan helping out his teammate here. D skin. Uh, standing actually pretty close. He couldn't get anything done. He does. There we go. There we go, D skin. That's a 2k for him. Aslan and Ritz go down. That's the bomb going down as well. They know where the bomb is. Now D skin still with 85 HP. Oh, here's McGill's finding that headshot onto Divine. Might look to turn things around here. It's definitely possible. But not like that. Kai missed the op shot. Pyro is there, however, to pick up where his teammate left off and finds that kill onto the S King. Steven from truck. Couldn't get anything done really with that MP7. He has to fall back towards Dumper Mc Dumpster. McGill's finds a kill onto Never Give Up as well. They've turned it around. It was a 3v4, now it's a 3v2. Just Steven and FK2 left. Oh my god, Steven got destroyed by McGill's and Pyro. And it's only FK2 in a 1v3 game hike. That was so clean how they took that site. It was too slow by flashback. And they were losing every single aim duel. They weren't doing crossfires either where they can trade it out. They were just holding all their separate positions. I don't think he's going to be able to do it here. He's going to try to run away. He does spot him on the way down. I loses it out as well. That's that's not one you should lose ever. No. But McGill's recoils all over the place because he's falling as well. Yeah. However, McGill's found the headshot first, and Game Hike take the lead once more. Four to three, the scoreline. 
the op survives for Kai. Which is really the biggest thing the game I could hope for. This time, flashback. They're gonna have to go for an eco. Question is, are they gonna go for maybe a stack? They're gonna go for a yeah. cheesy strat to get some kills here with these with this eco, or is it just a standard setup? Well, they are pushing one towards long as well, and one very close on mid. So it's a bit different, but I don't know if it'll make that much of a difference considering it's only pistols and they're by themselves as well. They're not trading kills. I'm wondering who's gonna actually win them. Uh, okay, we're not looking. Right? Oh, Divine, he got spotted there. They could see the top of his head. Very smart there by Ritz to actually check that position. And Ritz, what is he? He's basically top fragging with McGill's at this point. Uh, he completely <laughs> reverting to how he was in the first map. The connection issues have been solved, and Ritz's mentality has improved. He's back in the game. He's performing super well so far. Oh. oh, never give up. That was nasty. That headshot. Yeah. Guess you saved that AK, hopefully. For him, anyway. It was actually sad. It was a one tap, and he was so surprised he actually shot again. That's how surprised he was. Yeah, important kill for him. And now, if he can save this AK, it'll be useful for him in the next round. They, they don't have to buy another rifle. He can actually, especially since <clears throat> Steven here only has 1.4k and so does the vinyl so have really low uh, money as well, so the ability to drop a gun is going to be important for never give up. But let's see if we can actually save here, There's there, there are people getting pretty close, but they are starting to slow down. Oh, it's oh. getting well banged a bit. Ritz is just trying to get- oh, oh my god! <laughs> Oh, 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 oh wow, that was close. Never give up. Ooh, survives. So died there. The AK survives to fight another day. The rest of Flashback Gaming, they can buy up. There's, there we go, that's the M4 for DS King. <laughs> Steven got an FK to get M4s as well. It's just Divine, really, who has to deal with the Hamas. Yep, so, again, because he saved that AK, that was very important. They could drop a gun to his teammate. If he did not, then they would have had a lot worse buy than they do now. And it's actually a pretty decent buy. There's only one FAMAS on the team. And FAMAS aren't that bad. There are worse guns than a FAMAS. Like a, a submachine gun in many cases. So, <laughs> it's it's the same equivalent of having a Galil, really. So, well, at least the CT is equivalent. <laughs> the, the recoil pattern is also very different between them. A lot of people actually can't play with the recoil FAMAS because of how... Little they actually play with it. Look at this positioning by Pyro. This boost might just catch uh, Pyro off guard, or does it? He does get the kill onto Never Give Up. He knows there's another one there, oh. and he gets the second onto Divine as well. Ritz finds a kill onto DS King, which means only two people left for flashback here. That smoke failed a bit, but still no worries. FK2 got McGill's, but it does get traded back by Pyro, which means Steven, last man here. For flashback gaming stuck in a 1v2 situation. The bomb has been planted! He finds Pyro looking the other way. Reduces things down to a 1v1. A lot more manageable. Especially since he has full HP. Ritz is the one who's super low. Down to 24. He's probably getting info from his teammates right now. Ritz is low. That smoke kind of failed. It's not really covering the bomb, but it do it did bait Ritz to shoot a few shots! Oh, oh my no. god, the reflex. Steven Ritz. wins the 1v1. Smart play by the Flashback Gaming player. And it pays out in the end. Flashback Gaming win the round. 4-5 to five, the score. Yeah, and Ritz did not have to push up on the toilet there. He did not hear the defuse. And he just sort of panicked as soon as he saw that smoke. He just thought that immediately he would be defusing that. But that smoke was not covering the bomb. But he could not see from that range if the bomb was... Uh, he, like, he couldn't see the bomb because of the angle of the position he was holding. So he thought it maybe is a possibility he's, he's defusing in that smoke. But yeah, he did not have to push that toy. He did not have to fight. He got shoulder peaked and as soon as he saw me go back a little bit. But uh, no matter. Still an advantage to game hike in terms of weaponry. Just because even though Flashback won the round, they only survived one player. Keep that in mind. So not much money, and CTs uh, have a harder time in terms of economy than the uh, T's do.
be just because of the fact that AKs are cheaper to buy than M4s. Well, it kills. So well done. On the headshot. Never give up picks an AK up off the ground. FK2 gets guy as well, but Pyro responds with one onto the S King. Okay, Mike still have the one man advantage. 4v3. There's two people here on the B side through the wall. Can he get it? Actually, he almost did. Ritz down to 63 HP. Now he tries his luck with the wall bank. But nothing quite there as he makes his way back towards connector Aslan from long he did not spot the toilets player that will be divine and for s somehow I have no I'm idea how either. they literally walked past each other within meters really and no one noticed here's oh, Aslan saves him there that's FK2 getting that kill onto Aslan the bomb is still a connector not much time left though, 15 seconds, Pyro is going to go join up with his teammates here at the P-site. Never give up, he's in a good spot to stop McGill's from Monster, and yes he does find that headshot, gets another one to it as well, as the bomb gets planted by Cairo, never give up, hoping to get lucky through the smoke, but no such luck, Pyro's looking the other oh, way, and he missed his spray, never give up, gets a 3k, and wins the round for Flashback Gaming. Yeah, but at least it was an important round for, um, sorry, a, an important bomb plant for Game Hike. Considering they were about to lose that round anyway, uh, he does at least get that bomb plant. <clears throat> because the time is about to run out as well. But Game Hike do not have the best economy here. The bomb plant does at least guarantee them a few AKs if they wish to buy. But otherwise, mostly going to be Deagles and possibly Galils. But no, they're just going to go for. But McGill's immediately trades off with the deagle shot as well and yeah mcgill's basically completely carried them through that round and he's already 15 frags for his team Ooh, there's the long push it did not pay off for divine though because mcgill's got that kill however he had to try something the weaponry this round for flashback gaming is not impressive to say the least two deagles a p90 and a p250 here sky getting an op kill as well this time on never give up as the bomb makes its way towards long, the S King is still up. He still got his deagle. He can make some serious damage with the deagle. He does get one. That's Ritz dropping, but Aslan trades it back. It's just two people left now from flashback. Steven on the site with a P90. He's got armor, but no head armor, remember. Doesn't really matter much against AKs, but still. And he does get shot in the head. <laughs> Really no chance for Steven there. FK2 hoping to get something out of this, but he gets nothing. Game hike win, dropping only one member there. They'll be happy about that. 7-5 the scoreline now as we head into the closing two, three rounds. Two rounds, I can't count. The closing two rounds of the first half here on map two. If you're just joining us, I would like to remind you that Game Hike won map one on Inferno. They won it after one hell of a series of overtimes, really. The game ended in the final score of 28 to 26. 28 to 26. And now... Yeah, too long of a game, honestly. Yeah, it was an experience, to say the least. An experience for a lifetime. Well, Game Hike, they're in the driver's seat. Leading 1-0 in the series, leading 7-5 here on map 2. They're feeling quite comfortable, but they're still hoping to get that 8th point. And win the half if possible. Remember, they chose the T side. They chose to start on Terrorist. They've, been, they've proven to be quite the opponent here. Flashback Gaming forced to eco once more. There is an M4 for Never Give Up, sure. But other than that, the rest of his team have nothing to work with. Steven still alive. Finally, Ritz gets that kill with some help from Aslan's nade. He almost killed a teammate there. Woo! Ritz survives with 80 HP, but Pyro and Ritz get kills from themselves here. FK2 finds a headshot onto Aslan. But Ritz and Kai respond with kills of their own. And Game Hike get their 8th point on the board and technically win the first half.
Oh, well, technically, they do win it just yeah. because they have more than a. Uh, they have eight rounds and above, which means there's no way for Flashback to win this half. But it is uh, already a convincing lead. If they get the next two rounds, it's going to be almost not impossible, but really difficult for Flashback to actually come back in this. Flashback is really good on their T side in many maps, but we have not seen them on Overpass so far. So it's kind of a question mark how they perform here. But. This is already a pretty uh, daunting start for them on their CT side. And it makes you kind of worried if they're actually going to be able to make a comeback because this is the map choice for Game High. Keep in mind, they lost their own map choice on Inferno. So this is already Game High's basically optimal position. Oh my god, PS King gets Kai and Aslan. Oh wow, that's a 3k for Flashback Gaming's opera there exactly what they need to get back in the game. Game height. Are starting to shake a bit to be a bit uh, less uh, dominant. He was never give up from behind. He can't quite find the shot onto McGillis. <laughs> Finally he gets it. Took <laughs> him a while. Took him a, a few attempts to say the yeah. least. But Pyro finds a headshot on him. It's down to a 1v3 now. We've seen clutches like this before. We've not seen Pyro clutch one. Maybe it is his turn. Here we go with Connector. Now Steven wins it with the FAMAS straight to the head. Pyro goes down. Maybe maybe it's not his turn. Not not just yet. Not just yet, no. But never give up in a battle with his ex-teammate, McGill's. And he almost completely failed it considering you're shooting him from the back. McGill's turned around and was trying to start to fight back, but McGill's also didn't. Maybe out of a bit of panic because he's being shot in the back. Did not get that headshot immediately. Never give up was able to finish that off. But, I mean, that's in a way kind of showing how, you know, you know the, how lacking they seem to be flashback gaming so far. When even one of their top aimers is struggling to shoot people in the back. You know, it's kind of showing that they might not be on their A game at this point. Flashback gaming though, they do have an opportunity to at least get this in 8-7. But still, Game Hike did have enough economy to get whatever they needed for this round. Let's see who wins it. Everyone's got the best weaponry except for Divine, just a FAMAS for him. But everyone else though, in, a, in good shape. Do you notice a lack of P90s this time around? Yeah, it seems like teams are actually trying now. <laughs> Thank god. Oh, there's a boost attempt, but didn't really pay off. Steven actually got Kai short there, and Kai was the lurker, so they might just get flanked here. Never give up, gets another one onto McGill's. This is it for Flashback Gaming. If they can finish this off, they can get their 7th point on the board. They get DS, DS King. Never give up, finds the final 2 kills. Flashback Gaming get their 7th point on the board to end the first half with a an 8-7 scoreline in favor of Game Hike as we head into the second half of map 2 here. Yep, now almost even Steven now for both teams, but it is going to be Game Hike now on their CT side and Game Hike have done decently well on their CT side when it came to uh, their semi-finals um, on overpass, but flashback gaming this is going to be the first time we actually see their team side in overpass. So a bit of a question mark for flashback gaming. Well, we do know how game hike did perform on theirs, so yeah, it's going to be all down to this pistol round now to see who can actually separate at the start of this half. DS King, hoping to get that headshot on the Kai, but Kai falls back. DS King dare not chase him. Kai survives to live another day, but the rest of the team, flashback, making their way towards A, they have yet to get a kill. And yet, they're already on the site. FK2 finds a headshot onto McGill's at last, gets another one onto Pyro, a third! Oh my god, FK2, he's on fire. Kai finally responds, finds the headshot onto DS King, but could it be too late? The bomb has been planted on the B side, actually. FK2 gets a 4k, he's hoping for an ace, and they give it to him. It's an ace for FK2. 
It was his turn to shine, and shine he does. Flashback Gaming, tie things up, 8 to 8. <laughs> well, that's one way to basically guarantee yourself the, the pistol round. Just getting an ace. And that's honestly what Flashback needed. They needed a bit of that confidence booster. And Game Hike. Now they're on the back foot here. They do force up here, but it's gonna be hard. They're all tied up here. If they can get this, then they'll get the momentum back in their favor. Especially since they can get those guns off of Flashback. So it'll actually give them a better benefit to win a force buy than it would be when you pistol buy a uh, pistol round, just because they can pick up those weapons and not have to buy themselves. So really important round here for Game Mike. But Kai already half HP and all he has is a scout, so he's gonna need something here. Maybe try to hit a few headshots with that scout. Gills also doesn't have dream. armor. He is going glass cannon, although. Glass cannon is usually said about up. I would say scout is more of a glass, uh, <laughs> glass That's blower. Yeah. Well, yeah. Divine does get pyro, but Kai trades it back with the scout. There we go. There we go. The scout getting put to action there. He's Steven hoping to get one. Ooh. And he does get Missed Aslan the there. I think he shot him head, chest, and Aslan just disappeared. McGill's makes that deagle work, finds DS King. And somehow, flashback gaming. This is an eco round for game hike, I remind you people. And yet, it is pretty close, Kai! He actually got Steven there. This was an eco for game hike. What is happening? Flashback gaming are falling apart. Just FK2 and never give up left. They have yet to plant the bomb with not much time left. Around 15 seconds. They're gonna have to move fast, and they're going straight towards that B side, it seems like. Oh, and Game Hike, they fell for the bait. Game Hike went for A. This could be deadly. The bomb is about to get planted now, and now finally Game Hike realized oh, wait a guys, wait a moment, guys. A is clear. They're on B. As Ritz makes his way towards heaven through the smoke, he doesn't care. Actually, he got stuck at the door there. Makes his way all the way to the balcony, even. As he jumps down, he might find oh, someone on his right hand Oh my god, McGill's with a deagle. This guy is absolutely oh, scary Ritz. with the Deagle. Ritz, where are you looking? But now they know where FK2 is. They actually line up for him, but he couldn't make it happen. He does get the kill on Takai, but it's not enough. And McGill's clutches it for Game Hike. This was an eco round. Uh, well, what yeah, hell? sort of. It was a bit of a force buy, but McGill's did not buy armor. So it was for him, it was mostly an eco round. He did have that Deagle. And he does get a 3k just with a Deagle and no armor. While. Flashback Gaming, I don't know, they were so... They didn't seem to know which side they actually went to go to. They had A, then they decided to go back B, which was a good fake, but never give up. Had a position where he could actually... Uh, had the jump on game, like... But he just dies to McGill without... Without actually getting anything from that position that he was in. And he kind of threw it away there for his team. He was really frustrated about that. <laughs> Miss yeah. That Molly. So am I. I, I. I usually, when I play Overpass, this is usually my spot, I usually stand at barrels. And that Molly is so annoying. It is so annoying to get correctly, if you want to do it fast, that is. But, Kai starts things off with a headshot onto the S-King. Oh, he sneaks up I need. Oh my god, never give up. He does get me kills, but Ritz and Kai make their presence known. Ritz finds that final kill onto Steven in Game Hike. Extend their lead by two points now, but Flashback can buy up. Yep, and it's gonna be full AKs. That is single op, Flash Gaming. Flashback Gaming. Well, Game Hike, on the other hand. Um, they have a P90 and a Famas, but they do have enough money to mostly buy the next round. Mertz doesn't have that much money because he did drop that AK and bought himself an M4. But they are not too uncomfortable in terms of their money. Well, flashback game, they need this round here. Especially after losing that force by earlier. There's the flash oh, is long, but he can't land the shot. Finally gets it, and Kai goes down. But he did get dinked. That's the Vine down to 11 HP. Oh, shall we? Missed all those headshots, though. It seems like his crosshair was pretty much dead on in his head there. Well, I, I'm, on my screen, he was like a few centimeters above his head. 
Oh, maybe, I don't know. Perhaps a GoTV bug or one of those famous GoTV uh, mishaps. But Steven gets another kill onto Ritz. Might he even get a third onto <laughs> Aslan? No, he won't! The P90s! Oh my god, Aslan, that's a 3k and he gets the fourth <laughs> with the USPS. What P90 is happening? God. Pick up the AK, my friend. Pick it up. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. I know that P90 is god for you, but... Uh, well, you're gonna need that AK. It was Aslan's turn to get an impressive play on the board. And he delivers. The one round. The one round they get in P90. Like, the entire game it seemed like no one was really holding a P90. Except on T side. And he actually makes it work perfectly with that monster push. And now... Just pistols here. P9, uh, P250 is a Glock and a CZ. This is basically almost guaranteed a round for a uh, game hike unless they put out a miracle here. Let's have a game, yeah, by they the way. make it happen. Here's Miguel's finds the headshot onto Steven. That's a good start. Never give up. He dare not push monster. At least without flashes, there's no chance he makes it out alive. For now, flashback gaming. They seem like lost kittens. They don't know what to attack. Yeah, it's, it feels like the team is all over the place. They did boost DS King up there, but Kai, naturally, the opera is going to be looking there. Which is why that boost was a bad idea from the get-go. But McGill's... Oh, sorry, never give up. Actually got a kill. McGill's traded it back. That's Ritz dropping from game hike. But FK2 and Divine last two standing that molly from McGill's. FK2 is getting burned alive. He has to run away. He's down to 60 HP. Bit of a panicky moment there for FK2, but he does pick up the AK. Doesn't matter anyways. McGill's finds him with a headshot. Pyro gets that last headshot onto Divine as well. And now Game Hike have a 12 to 8 lead. Yeah, building an economy here. Pyro could have actually ran to get that AK, even through his mo own Molotov, but uh, decides to stick with that FAMAS. Not the best idea, but it's working enough for him. And now it's no longer as close of a game as we saw on the first map. So mainly because this is a game hikes a map choice, and they're building an economy, which is very dangerous on the city side overpass to build your economy. So getting dangerous now for flashback gaming, they need this round. If he peeks here, off his wing, he misses! Why would oh, you miss? Oh my god, this miss is gonna cost them a lot. Or oh, is it? Through the or wall. is it? FK2 and Steven actually through the wall gets that headshot onto Aslan. Game like reduced to three members. Not for much longer though, because Miguel's only has 12 HP to work with here. He does get the headshot onto the S King, however. Maybe he can still get some damage done before dropping. Kai oh, is super far away, but he's all by himself hiding in the smoke. No Kai way. can't really help out his teammate, and McGill's <laughs> drops to a nade in the end as the bomb is about to get planted. Is Kai gonna try and go for this with the op? This is risky. It is a 1v4. And he's actually gonna go for it. He just got fully flashed there. That's a, a three second flash. Oh, yes. Kai. Making does this get costly. Divine. He might hope for more or not. He actually thinks he might just get rushed, which is a smart decision for him to back off. He knows there's really no chance for him to win this 1v3. Oh, oh my god! That position he's in is too too vulnerable uh, towards the actual B side, and he loses that AWP. That was a very important loss. He has 4k. He should have just tried to run away and actually save that AWP, but now. Is forced back down to a P90, and although they had such a lead, it's now gotten dangerous for them. They they've lost so much economy, and because they lost that AWP, uh, now they have nothing to come in here with in terms of uh, a scoped weapons. This is P90. definitely tough to do, but here we go, game hike. That's a good start. Oh. Aslan actually got Steven. Ritz gets Divine as well, but the S King trades them both back. Now Flashback can make their way onto the B side. It's a good Molly onto Heaven as well. Denying that spot for it. Never mind, he just smoked it off. God damn it. <laughs> Never give up. Oh yeah, it's it's okay. Yeah, throwing that smoke actually at least guaranteed that it was gonna land there because it hits the Molly. Otherwise it could have passed it because of how he threw that. But um yeah, basically, oh, Pyro, 
Might actually it's be able to go behind them here. It is down to a 2v2. Two two. Yes, Gengi, look the other way! Oh my god, the timing! FK2 hiding in the water. Now they know where he is, because Miguel's just dropped to him. Pyro is running out of time. He has to do this fast, but he couldn't. He couldn't no do it in the either. end. FK2. No FK2 clutched it in a 1v2, and now Flashback Gaming slowly but surely reeling Game Hike back in. Yeah, and he had no kit either, so he basically had to run away there. I'm not sure why they kept pushing when there's so little amount of time and no kits, honestly. You had no chance of actually winning that round because of that. Uh, you could have actually saved those weapons, but here they're going to just stick to an eco. But keep in mind, we've seen some really interesting ecos so far, so it's not guaranteed win. Yeah, Mike, they've won on an eco before. Can they do it again? Steven does get Kai, but it gets traded back. Here's FK2 from short. Hoping to get Ritz as well, but no such luck. He's gonna molly it instead as the bomb gets planted behind him. Still three members up from game. Mike Ritz picks up the AK. Question is, is he gonna go oh, to Miguel's... attempt this retake or is he gonna save it? Miguel actually gets a one dig onto the S King. This time Divine ready for Pyro and Pyro goes down. It's hoping to get lucky with the wall bang, but no such luck. Here's McGill's with the deagle. Couldn't find the headshot and never give up. F gets that kill. Ritz hoping to save the AK. He should be able to here. As there's yep. no way they'll catch him in time. Unless they do pick long here, since Ritz is pushing towards long. He's high in this corner. Yeah, that, there you go. Now they have no chance of catching him. But uh, now... Now it's gonna be a whole new ball game. They do have quite a few weapons here. And Flashback Gaming, although they've won a few rounds in a row, they've lost way too many weapons. So, only a few people have a bit of bank here. The rest of them, not so much. McGill's though, look at, look at his frags. He's doing work for his team. At least Ritz this time, you know, isn't on four frags. He's actually carrying with his team. Uh, working as a team, so Game Hike now is pretty pretty good in terms of teamwork. I guess a little Ooh, McGills, he looked the other way, and no one checks the left hand side, and McGills finds that kill onto Divine. Kai gets another one onto Steven. Already flashback gaming, we're used to three members. Kai switches out his M4 for an AK. It's a P90 for Aslan, our resident P90 god. Gills gets another kill, this time onto FK2. He's about to peek long, and there is an op on the other side. Why did he drop his M4? I am very confused by that, and DS King wins that fight naturally. At that range, the op will win 9 times out of 10. There's the S King! Oh! Wow! Wow! Kai was jumping for info. And the S-King takes advantage of it. That's one hell of a reflex shot. It is a 2v3 now. Flashback making his way from connector. Ritz just spotted the connector door open. Now he knows that they're coming from connector. With 35 seconds left on the clock. There's really not much time left here for Flashback Gaming to work with. And they are committing to this B-side it seems. As the bomb makes its way towards Monster. The S King chooses to go short instead. Aslan with the P90 finds that kill onto Never Give Up and goes straight to the S King. Finds that kill as well. The P90 God strikes once more. <laughs> Just constant P90s. And it's, it seems to be working for them, especially Aslan. has got multiple frags, even though he doesn't show that he has that many frags on the board currently. Most of his frags seem to be coming from those P90s. And. The gills now has already hit a 30 bomb, and it's only a few rounds left on the in the game so far. Only five rounds to go, and flashback gaming have no economy whatsoever. Oop, the stack though. Ritz, can he get one at least? Yes, he can. That's never give up dropping. He actually can make it out alive. Pyro picks up where Ritz left off, gets a 3k for himself. Aslan stole one in the middle there. And Game Hike extend their lead 14 to 11. They're getting dangerously close to that yeah. match point. It was a dominating round by Game Hike. And, yep, it's a good thing we've, we found out 
which, whose map choices were which, because it's certainly showing here. Rushback Gaming chose Inferno, and it was a very close game. Game Hype made it uh, a big challenge for them, and they still end up winning it. While in here, Game Hype seems to be a lot more confident than Flashback Gaming on their own map choice. And it looks like this is going to be because of the weaponry. It looks like guaranteed 15th round. Oh my God, McGill's finally took him a while, but he actually got three. One of them with a nade, but never give up. Finally shuts him down with a P250. Picks up the AK off the ground, but it's way too late. It is a 2v4. That might just be the end for Flashback Gaming here. If Game Ike win this round, they guarantee at least overtime. Yeah. And they flirt with game point, with match point. I apologize. Here's Pyro with the awkward M4. Spray. Very awkward spray, but it does work out in the end and never give up dies. Took him a while, but he gets there. It's a learning curve. <laughs> FK2, last man standing for flashback gaming. He's got nothing but a deagle. It's an easy pickup, really, for Pyro. And now game hike. 15-11. This is match point for Game Mike if they can execute. Yeah, and the first half score was 8-7 to uh, Game Mike. No, was it was it uh, not to Flashbang? Flashbang. Flashback. It was 8-7 uh, Flash... No, it was 8-7 Game Mike. Sorry. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was 8-7 to, uh, to Game Mike. And clearly, they're more comfortable on their CT side, which is expected. A flashback gaming not showing the same prowess they do on T side as they did on the other maps. And this is now their last threat, their last chance to actually win this map. And it's going to be really difficult, especially now that Game Hike's building an economy. Aslan with this trusty P90, an AWP for Kai, and M4s for the rest. Meanwhile, Flashback Gaming, just five AKs all the way. This is it. The round. It's a good start. Never give up. Actually got that kill onto Kai. That's the op going down as they make their way towards connector. FK2 gets another one onto Aslan as well. This is exactly what Flashback Gaming need. Can they keep it going? There's another one hiding in connector. Here's Pyro shutting FK2 down. Ritz from connector gets that kill onto Never Give Up as well. Down to a 3v3 now. McGill's still alive. They can definitely make this wall bang work! Oh, he got hit through the wall as well, down to 17 HP. Ritz finally gets Steven, but Divine trades it back. We're down to a 2v2 now. McGill's, he's super low, 17 HP. With 30 seconds left on the clock, Candy, S-King, and Divine clutch this for Flashback Gaming. And try to reel Game Hike back in. Oh, looking the wrong way. Well Didn't then. expect him to flank and bind him. Which means it's just Pyro left here for Game Hike. Can he keep their oh, hopes alive? Pyro. Maybe, yes, he can. He just got Divine before Divine can make it there. All oh, the timing. Pyro. He moved a bit too early before the smoke could really get into place. And he paid the price for it. Flashback Gaming win the round as a real Game Hike back in 12 to 15 the scoreline. I'm getting deja vu's from last game, Daredevil, and I'm scared. <laughs> yeah. I'm scared five, of getting overtime again. Five overtimes, seven overtimes. Make this a 30-30. Yeah, let's hope that doesn't come to the end of that. <laughs> but, uh... Flashback game could definitely make this possible. It is 12 rounds to them, but there's only three rounds to go. But it is going to be a, t a tough task to actually do. This game hike is all the way aggressive. Oh. Miguel's had to fall back, but Divine, he finds Kai pushed up from long and gets that headshot. Here's Ooh. Miguel's with the op, gets a good flick. Can he keep it going? Can he get another one onto the S-King? The S-King is not peeking anymore. He knows he does not win that battle versus the op. Or does he? Shot, though. He falls back all the way to benches instead of fighting, fighting with the op. Aslan, our P90 King, still alive, standing close to Monster and Short. But not peeking just yet as Flashback Gaming make their way towards shorts. There's the Molly onto water. Aslan, he gets one before dropping, but FK2, he trades it back. Down to a 3v3 now. Pyro finds a good headshot onto FK2. Can he get another one? Yes. Never give up goes down as well. McGills gets the last one. Game hike win. 16-12, and they win this series. 
2-0 here at Kohima.